Hello everyone, Mr. Shepherd here again with some more maths and our uh, quiz today is to describe turns. Okay, can we describe how this car has turned? If you remember back, we talked about uh, clockwise and anti-clockwise and this is the big clue here, this arrow. So the car's turned in this direction. Is that clockwise or is it anti-clockwise? Remembering our work from yesterday, we know that that's clockwise, isn't it? And how much of a turn have we done here? We've done quarter of a turn, okay? So we've turned a quarter in a clockwise direction, okay? Quarter turn clockwise. All right, next one. Describe how the car's turned this time. We're looking at our arrow, this time we're going the other way. So what's that going to be? That is going to be anti-clockwise. How far has the car turned? Started off here. It's made a quarter of a turn anti-clockwise. Okay, it's now facing that direction. So a quarter of a turn anti-clockwise. True or false, the car has made a full, oh, sorry. True or false, the car has made a half turn anti-clockwise. Anti-clockwise is this direction. Has made a half turn. It's made a quarter. Half, yes it has, okay. It's made a quarter, uh, a half turn, anti-clockwise. Next one, describe this turn. So this time the arrow is going in this direction. We know that that is clockwise. How far has the car turned? Well, if it's turned in this direction, it started off here. That's a quarter turn, a half turn, a three quarter turn. Okay, so I would say that has made a three-quarter turn in a clockwise direction. Okay, three to three quarters clockwise. All right, how uh, can you describe how the car has turned now? Well, it's turned quarter, then a half, half turn which direction? Clockwise. Half turn clockwise. Okay, our walk for today is to tell the time. Okay, so we're continuing with our work on time. And we've got this guy. Okay, we need to click on him uh, to say whether or not it would be an o'clock, a half past, quarter past, or a quarter two time. So we click and he shows us that it's half past, right? So that time where he's, um, our hand is pointing is what's telling us. Uh, what it's going to be. So if we think that this is halfway between the three and the four, then we can guess that it's half past three. Okay. It's past the three. All right. So that's how it works. Right. Let's try the next one. Half past. Okay. Now we've got to guess is this quarter past, quarter two? or half past, just judging on where the hour hand is. Now, remember, half past would be right in between. I don't think it's right in between, is it? It's pointing about here. I'd say that's about halfway between the halfway mark and the seven, so it's going to be quarter, and it's in this on this side. We're going this way, so it's going to be quarter past, okay? It's going to be quarter past. Let's see if we're right. Okay, so now that a minute hand comes up and it shows us, yes, it is quarter past seven. Okay, quarter past. All right, see if we can get this next one. Right, where is the hour hand pointing now? I wouldn't say that's halfway, so that's past halfway. Okay, it's closer to the one than it is the 12, so it's going to be quarter two one okay see so it's in that second half going towards the one it's gone past the halfway mark the hour hand and it's halfway between the halfway mark and the one so that's quarter quarter two let's see all right and it shows us yes it's quarter two one okay Radio. next one. <coughs> Excuse me. Now we've got the hour hand pointing directly 
to the nine. So what's that going to be? If the hour hand's pointing directly to the nine, it's going to be, is it going to be quarter past or quarter two or half past? No, if it's pointing directly to the nine, it's going to be o'clock. So I'm, I'm hoping to see the big hand's going to come up here. Let's see. Okay, nine o'clock. All right, next one. We're on to our, uh, we're talking about two and past, okay? This clock shows the hours in black on the inside and the minutes in blue and green on the outside, okay? So we've got our normal hours of our clock face here and then we've got 60 at the top, we've got 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Just have a think to yourself, why have we got those numbers around the outside? Can you remember? So these intervals between the numbers are five minute intervals. One, two, three, four, five. So that's five minutes at one o'clock, at the one rather. And then one, two, three, four, five. Another five minutes takes us to the 10. And then one, two, three, four, five. Another five minutes takes us to the three. Okay. Can you count the minutes in steps of five? So we've got five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Okay. So it's counting those intervals as we go around the clock face. As this ticks around, it's counting one, two, three, four, five. And then it's six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and so on. Okay, but it's jumping in those fives: five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty. Okay. All right. Can you see a pattern between the hours on the inside and the minutes on the outside? Well, if we said one times five, we'd get five, wouldn't we? What about if we said two times five? we get 10. 3 times 5 would be 15. 4 times 5 would be 20. 5 times 5 would be 25. And 6 times 5 would be 30. Okay? We read the time as minutes past or to the hour. We know that. We think of that as our monster. And on this side, we've gone past the monster. Once we pass the 30, then we're on our way to the monster, aren't we? We can count clockwise around the clock to find out how many minutes past the hour it is, okay? So we could count each of these individual ones like we would on a number line. We could just jump to the 5, to the 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. All right? Now, what time is this then? If we've gone a big, our minute hand or our big hand is pointing to the 5, how many minutes past 12 is it? It's one, two, three, four, five minutes past 12. Okay. 